Hey everybody, welcome back to Nintendo Treehouse Live with Nintendo Switch. My name is Nate, uh, and I'm here with some very special guests. I have Mr. Aonuma and Mr. Yep. Miyamoto, um, and they are accompanied by their translators, Noriko and Raymond, who are going to help me out as we go through what is my favorite segment of the entire day. Uh, we get to take people uh, into the world of Hyrule and take a deeper look at uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. So. Let's get right to it. And actually, we're going to start out. This is, I think, probably most people's first look at the UI of the Nintendo Switch. So um, I'm just going to boot the game directly out of here and get to it. Yep. You guys ready? Yes, let's go. Hi. Time to go on an adventure here. So um, we are going to start out uh, in a place that is fairly familiar to anybody who played the game in E3 or who has followed our coverage. Um, it's, we're starting out on the Great Plateau, which is basically the introductory area of the game. And you spend some time there, and then for me, one of the, my favorite moments of the game is the moment you get to step off the plateau and into the greater world, because it's huge. E3 あの、シーンなんですけども、これは高いところからここからチャンプしてI'm so excited that you actually like um, jumping off of a high cliff or high places because that's one of the um, the greatest features of Breath of the Wild. Yeah. So we should say the, that essentially you can jump off the, the plateau in, in any direction. I mean, players are not, there's not a specific way they have to go. We're just going to choose to go in one direction. I think I'm going to head down here. <laughs> so, you can, <laughs> so you can see, as you can see, like even far, far ahead, you, um, that's all connected. It's all, it, you can go anywhere, else. anywhere that you can, uh, anywhere that you can see, you can go anywhere. I'm going to start out down here and maybe, I think we're going to go and try to catch ourselves a horse. So I think Nate's going for the horse here. So I'm going to try to land on it. Oh. <laughs> Taming horses is not easy. <laughs> so if you're actually good and the timing is right, I'm then uh, then um, you can you can get on the horse. Alright. The and then one of the trick is to um, kind of duck like this, what Nate's doing right now, and then approach the horse quietly. Get it up. Okay, all right. So you can see at first the horse is kind of swaying from right to the left and then it's not really obeying what you want to do and that's because the horse is not used to you yet. Uh, and then um, if the horse kind of acts up then you can, um, you can tame it. A little bit. And then you can see that little, um, the pink effect. Oh, easy, buddy. Easy. Uh, that effect right there. And then the more um, of those taming effects that you get, the more um, the horse will be tamed. And then once it's tamed, um, it'll start running where the roads are. On its oh, own. yeah. So without, without me actually guiding it. Yeah, that's right. It's really important too because I think that the world is so big that there are times when you want to ride and look around, you know, sort of examine your surroundings, see like a place that you might want to go next, see if there are some enemies approaching. You know, it's it's important to have a horse that obeys <laughs> the pathways. Yeah, that's right. 
All right, so I'm making my way. I guess this is we're going a little bit west here, but あの馬がねずっとそのまま普通にあの道を沿い走ってくれるのでカメラでこう周りを見ながらね移動したりするのは楽しいです。Yeah, like you said, since um the horse will be um riding uh running a, uh along the tracks uh along uh along the road. Uh, you can kind of pan the camera around and then see your surroundings and enjoy the view. So a little guy with a pack back there. So I'm approaching one of the many stables in the game. Maybe Mr. Anuma can tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the stables. 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 So the、um, stables are actually scattered、um, in few places along the world. で、あのここに来たらこう馬をね、あの今野生馬を捕まえましたけど、こういう形で登録ができるんですね。And then at the stable you can register these horses, the wild horses that you caught and tamed. まああのちょっとルピーを要求されますけど。<笑> You're gonna have to pay a little bit of rupees, but、um, you can register them here. でね、一旦ここに登録しておくと、あの馬をこう馬でこう遠くまで行って。えー、その先に何かやってそのまま馬を放ってどっか行っちゃってどこに馬行ったのか分かんなくなっても馬宿に行ってあの馬呼び寄せてって頼むとここにあのすぐ呼び出してくれます。So once you register the horse, when you're exploring out in the world and then you kind of、um, get off the horse and you don't, you, you don't know where the horses are anymore, your horse is anymore, you can go back to the stable and then ask for your horse and they'll bring it back to you. ね、自分で好きな名前を決めます。And then you can name it however you like. <笑> not a pony. Pony 以外もいろんな馬でね。そうですね。This time around,、uh, you can ride all different kinds of horses、uh, aside from a pony. <笑> yeah, so the um, they're and some are easier to break than others.、Uh, there are horses that are are um, they have, tend to have more spurs. They have more energy, but those are also Harder, you can't. I mean, you saw that first one that I was trying to land on. He fucked me right off. He tried to kick me. So,、um, you can get a gentler. I think the the gentler horses are easier to, to catch, but maybe aren't as strong when it comes to horses that you want to ride. 馬によってはあのスタミナだったり速さだったりそういったあの違いがありますけれども、やっぱりちょっと強めの馬っていうのはあの名付けにくい。で、でもあのもうちょっと優しくてあのさっきネイトがあの落とされたような馬ではなくて、もうちょっと乗りやすいような馬だと。もうちょっと名付けやすくって、でもあのまあスタミナとかスピードが足りなかったりするっていうようなそういうふうな面白い要素もありますよね。そうですね。あの今こうやって馬に、ね、犬が、あ犬が来た。あ、there's a dog. あ、犬が来た。あ、犬が食べた。That was for my horse. <笑> dog. The dog ate the apple. That's terrible. ほら、犬が犬が喜んで。<笑> so、you can see, you can see that the dog was actually happy. Look, he's following me now. あのね、なんか犬が犬が懐いて。走ってくるんですよね、こうして。い<笑>や、そうなんですよ。馬とか犬とかね、いろんな動物にこうあの餌をこう食べさせると意外にいろんな反応があったりするっていうのも今回い,いろいろ入れてますんで、それを探し出してほしいです、ね。So one of the things we added、um, to this game is you can give food items to the horses or dogs, and then they'll start to kind of follow you around and、um, be tamed, and that's one of the The fun elements that we included. Yeah. It's pretty clear too that the, the stables in this world, this wild world,、um, are places where human beings congregate.、Um, people of all races really come here.、Uh, and as you see, I'm just talking to this guy. There's a lot you can learn about the world and a lot that you might need to do in the world when you interact with all the people at the stables. であのこの馬宿はすごくいろんな人があらゆるところから集まってきていてであのここであの次に何をすればいいのかとかあの世界では何が起こっているのかっていうような情報収集もできる貴重な場所ですよそうですねあのここにああのここをあの拠点にしてあのこう旅をしている人なんかもいるのでいやあのそこだけじゃなくて周りからもいろんな情報が集まってくるっていうねそういう場所になってますね。So, there's a lot of people that are using this as,、uh, the stable as a base and then are traveling、um, in the world. So,、um, it's kind of interesting to see、um, that you can collect a lot of different kinds of information here. So, I,、uh, we've of course discussed shrines before, they're all over the place.、Um, I'm going to jump into this one and,、uh, and show our viewers、uh, a little bit of the inside of the shrine. But while I did, I was kind of hoping that Mr. Miyamoto and Mr. Anuma could talk a little bit about. 
these awesome things that we have on the table in front of us. レートが今、ほこらにあのたくさんあるうちの一つのほこらに入りますけれども、あまあ、その間にこのアミーボを紹介していただけないでしょうか、うん、はい、じゃあ、紹介しましょう。えっと、E3 の時にね、もうすでにご紹介してますけど、この馬に乗った、えー、リンクのアミーボ。So during E3, we've already、um, talked about some of these amiibos. So, the first one is Archer Link. So, the first one is Guardian. So, this is、um, a Guardian、um, amiibo, and then, as you can see, you can bend the legs. As the Any way that you want, and this is actually、um, a first of its kind. So, this is a first of its kind. And this is、um, the first time she's、um, appearing as an amiibo. So, this is a first of its kind. What do you think? This is a first of its kind. This is a first of its kind. This is a first of its kind. And this is an enemy called Bokoblin. And then, as you can see, <laughs> It's really well made. <laughs> であのゼロダ姫ね、<笑>あの見てもらったわかるように、もうリンクとごめんなさいこちらカメラ、<笑>こっち<笑>こっちカメラ、<笑><笑>はい、リンクとね同じこの青い服を着てますね。As you can see, when I put them together like this, you can see, but Zelda is actually wearing this blue tunic that、um, that Link is wearing as well. あと実は手にこれあの。シーカースレートってやつですけど、リンクが持ってるやつと同じものを持ってますね。And then in Zelda's hand, you can see the Sheikah slate, which is something that Link also has. これね。<笑>まあそのあたりはゲームの中でいろいろ明かされていきますので、また楽しみにしていてほしい。But、um, details you can、um, find out in the game, so I think、um, you'll have fun discovering these information. <笑>このボコブリンがね。はい。いっぱい出てくるんですね。いろんな種類が。いろんな種類が出てくる。カーブンズ、actually many different types of bokoblins, is that right? だんだんとね、敵として可愛くなってくる。そうですね。After you fight them so long, it's they start to kind of grow on you, actually. あの、totally. 一番ゲームの中で、あの、しょっちゅう出てくる。ね、本当にうるさいわっていう<笑>出てくる。敵です。<笑> it's、um, one of the enemies that you'll encounter a lot throughout the game, and it's almost A little annoying, but it's, it's still very cute. <laughs> you know, it might be the first time that we've created、um, a product with so much detail of an enemy character. Um, while we were discussing Amiibo, now you're done with the shrine. Yeah,、so. we,、uh, with the viewers at home, were watching me solve it. I, I didn't want to completely solve it, so I decided to bail out and go back out into the world so we don't spoil too much for people at home. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. So, when you actually、uh, clear any of those shrines, not only do you get abilities, but it also becomes a, a warp point. And so, you know, whether it's warping or taking the horse or using the paraglider or just rolling off a cliff, there's many ways that you can get to places. I love climbing up hills and then jumping off them. The Epona was a little bit of 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 a It has a pretty cool saddle on. あの馬宿に登録すると、この蔵と、それから、あの、渋谷で呼ぶと、あの、えっと、来てくれるっていう、あの、そういう性能が加わります。Once you register these horses at the stable,、um, it'll have, it'll, you can put on the,、um, the saddle, and then、um, another spec where if you blow your whistle, blow a whistle, it'll come right up to you. 今度の馬っていうのは大事なのは、戦闘にも使う。ね、だから勝手にこうして道を走ってくれる AI がすごく優秀なんです。
So something important uh, about the horses this time around is you can also use them for battle. So the AI becomes really important. で、ま、2年前からね、今が勝手に勢いを受けていくんです。簡単には言ったけども、どうしてそれを実現するかっていうのは実はこの動物のために <笑> You know, it's, it's a really, um, when we're creating these animals, there's actually a, a programmer and like a designer specifically dedicated to these animals, and horse being one of them. And there's many, many different types of animals that come out in the game. And you know, uh, designers and programmers spent a lot of time, a few years, really perfecting and, and crafting these animals so that they become really, really natural. I'm getting out of there, he was in danger. I didn't want to get. I didn't want to, you really have to take care of your horse. That's the thing is that you care about this animal that you, you sort of domesticated a little bit. But oh. I also wanted to point out, just because Mr. Gimoto was talking about other animal life, you, know, you look around and this is a living world, you know. Everywhere there's, there's birds, there's beasts, there's things growing. Um, there's just stuff everywhere. It feels very, very, uh, very much like it's a living place. Um, and I also wanted to point out that uh, you guys probably saw when I went into that battle with these guys really unsuccessfully that um, one of the advantages the horse gives you is that you can jump off it and go into slow motion, um, which gives you an automatic advantage if you actually hit the uh, You missed it, Nate. I did miss it. I was talking. Uh, it gives you an automatic advantage. It's, it's like jumping off something. Um, you got to be better at this, Nate. I know, right? <laughs> Try to talk at the same time. Come on. But anyways, regardless of whether or not you're using um, the grip or whether you're using a pro controller, you can just fine-tune aiming um, with the bow like this. グリップでもあの、こういう風なすごい繊細なあの、コントロールっていうのができるのが今回の魅力です。そうですね。あの、どちらも同じようにコントロールできます。いや、and with um, how you actually get on the horse with Epona, you, there was a specific, that you had, a specific way that you had to get on the horse. But this time around, there's many, many different ways that you can get on the horse. Hey, go from the front. Hey, try, try from the back. Oh, actually, try from the front. From the neck. From the neck. Oh! Cool. Get a shot by an off rock. We're going to get out of here. あの、そうだね、やっぱりあの、動物とかとこうね、いろいろこう、あの、いろんなあの、さっき餌やったりとかいろんなことができるようになって、馬に対してもいろいろできるようになって、それがこう気持ちよくて、いろいろできるように、一
気持ちよくこう走るためにリズムの音まできちっとタララタララっていうリズムをこのアニメーターとサウンドのメンバーがきっちりと作り込んで気持ちよく走れるように。And to create that vision of feeling just right, we made sure that even the,、uh, the hooves hitting the ground is just right, so the animator and the sound、uh, char- in charge really work together to make sure that it matches. ちゃんとねこれ四つの足が地面についてる時にパカッパカッと音がしてるんですね。And you, as you can see, it actually makes the sound、um, when the, the foot, when the heel hits the ground. So, if, if the,、um, the sound doesn't match the movement of the horse, then that means、um, the motion is kind of off. And these are the little details that we really put our thought into while developing this game. Well, one other detail that is overarching that I love is that it, because this is the weather system, the day and night、oh. cycle is constantly going on its own. Th- this scene will look totally different for whoever plays it because they'll arrive at a different time of day. The, it might be raining, it might not, it might be a thunderstorm. Every player is going to experience this in a totally different way. あともう一つあの気に入っている点というのが天候の繊維とかあとあの日の,あの沈み加減とかそういうふうな一日の動きですねそれによって本当にプレイヤー他のプレイヤーが同じ場面で同じようなことをしようとしていても全く周りの状況というか背景が違ったりして一人一人あのお客様が感じるあの感想というかあの感じるゲームプレイというのが違ってくるということです。違いますねあの I'm in trouble. PR よ写真撮ったりするんですけど、これいいよね、それどこなのって言われて行って、ここですって言われるんだけど、同じシーンが撮れないんです。<笑>雨が降るまで。You're right.、Um, so I'll, sometimes I want to take screenshots for PR, and then、um, I'll show it to somebody, and they'll be like, oh, that's really awesome. Where did you take that photo? And then、um, I'll, oh, I'll go to the location and then try to take that same screenshot, but it's almost impossible. Possible to recreate it because the lighting's totally different. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah oh, just... sorry, I had to get completely destroyed while Mr. Newman <laughs> 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 was telling that <laughs> <They're> burning <laughs> anecdote. Well, Hontoni, you don't know, Mona Moita is Runo, the Fukuni Moyo Tutari, Ano, Ne, Amega Futikitara, I get the greater. You know, as, it, as you saw, the grass was burning, and the fire can just really go anywhere, it can burn on you, and it'll go out once the rain comes too, so it's really natural. <laughs> 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 It's actually kind of hard when it rains.、Um, you can't climb the mountain. There's a lot of hard elements. Oh, and the thunder, too. Yeah, the thunder. You gotta change your clothes from metallic items to wooden ones to refrain from you know, getting struck by lightning. Yeah, you got, you got to totally strip out. And you know, it's, it doesn't matter if it's,、uh, if, you're, if it's you or the enemy, the, the lightning will just strike anywhere. So, speaking of dangerous elements, clearly guardians are roaming around. They are really, really nasty.、Um, I was just trying to get to that tower there, but that thing is between me and it. And I don't even know if I want to risk my horse. ガーディアンが見えてきます、はい、危険な敵の危険ですよねさっきやられたちょっとネートはあのー、あ馬が馬を傷つけたくないのでどうするか感じで悩んでいましたがそうなんですよ今回ね馬もねあの死んじゃうことがある Yeah, you're right、um, There are times when the horses die too in this game だから気をつけてあのなんとかその敵の攻撃を受けないようにしてあげないといけない So please make sure to avoid the,、um, the enemy attacks あと今ネットはもう早速こう危険なデンジャラスゾーンに行ってますけど<笑>ゲーム始めてすぐにねあのガノン城にあのあのハイロー城に行こうと思ったら行けますからね。You can actually go straight to、uh, Hyrule Castle when you first begin the game。And then this happens to you over and over again <笑>。でこれが毎回毎回。I like that, they, that you have that freedom though. I mean I think it's good to Go and get in trouble and then say, you know what, I'm, I'm not going to go that direction right now. I might come back a little bit later when I have some better stuff. And then, the freedom is very good. 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 
そうやって、えっと、今までって行けなくなっちゃうともう詰まっちゃって先に進めないんですけど今回そんなことなくてこの敵怖かったらずっと遠くを回っていけばいいしそれにまたあのパワーをつけビリつけたらやっつけることもできるようになるんでもういろんなやり方をしながら最後の,そのボスに。So, in the past titles, like you could, if, if there was something that you shouldn't be going past, then you couldn't go past that. But with this game, you can go around, and it might take a long time, but you can go around and then try to avoid it and then come back to it that later. That would have been a better、want. plan. Well, I'm not going to embarrass myself any further by dying continually in front of two of my heroes. So,、um, we're going to move on to、uh, our next segment. We are going to actually finish up with a, a close look at 1 2 Switch, which is. Not to be missed.、Um, but before then, we've got something else for you.、Um, I will tell you all about it on the other side of the break. Thank you. Thanks, guys.